Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to look at how to install VMware ESXi 6.7. Uh, we are running this on a Mac, running VMware Fusion. We're going to go through the steps. Uh, we're assuming that you've gone and downloaded the ESXi uh, ISO already, uh, that you're ready to go. You've got VMware Fusion running on your, on your Mac and we're going to go ahead and show you this basic step on how to install that. Let's check that right now. So I've got here on my desktop the ISO for VMware ESXi 6.7. We're not going to go into detail of exactly what this is. I do have some other videos detailing that in a little bit more detail. But uh, in, in short, really, it's uh, it's what's called a hypervisor. Uh, it's it's some like essentially some software as an operating system uh, by a company called VMware that we're going to install onto our uh, onto our computer. And then you can actually go and build uh, VMs or virtual machines inside of this uh, hypervisor itself. Uh, so you can actually run multiple servers or, or computers essentially uh, within one single computer instance, uh, which is actually quite good. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to be installing this on VMware Fusion. So I've got uh, my Mac right here and I've got a copy of VMware Fusion, which I've purchased. And really all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install it within VMware Fusion and then show you the steps on how you then you would create some VMs within VMware Fusion. Uh, of course, you can do this with other applications as well. You can install the ESXi installer directly onto a, another computer. You can boot it from a USB stick. You can you know boot it on a, on a uh, Windows computer as well. Or instead of running Windows, you can run ESXi as the operating system. Uh, but we're doing it through uh, Fusion because it, it's already a... Uh, virtualization platform that allows me to do this quite easily for the purpose of this demonstration but so first things first is you need to go and download the ISO all right so you need to get the ISO from um, generally from the VMware website so you just go in you register a VMware account it is free and then look for uh, VMvisor install 6.7 or ESXi 6.7 and you'll be able to download that. It's roughly around 650 megabytes. Um, if you really need to, you can also go into the Dell website. And if you look up Dell customizable um, ESXi 6.7, you can actually find it through there as well. And it'll essentially just have some Dell drivers attached to it, but it should work just as well. Once you've downloaded it, we're gonna go and open up VMware Fusion. So I've already installed it, I've already configured it. Um, I've already got, you'll see a Windows 10 uh, virtual machine that is running on this uh, computer. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, no, I went to File, New, and I'm presented with this view right here, select the installation method. And now I'm just gonna, essentially it says install from a disk or image, which is what we're going to do right here. So I literally go and grab it, just drag it into here. You'll see that it shows up in here. I can go navigate it from uh, the finder so I can see. I can also select another disk or disk image. Uh, so it's already thrown it into here, which is great. I can now click on continue. You're presented with this view right here where it lets you choose the operating system. Um, this is really just to help you customize your image itself. And it's gonna give you some standard recommendations around the CPU and the RAM and how much you should be allocating. So we're just gonna go and say VMware ESXi. Uh, and it's 6.x, uh, which will cover 6.7. If you have an earlier version, select an earlier version. Continue. It's gonna specify the boot firmware. We're gonna leave that as the default. And you'll see that by default, it's already said, well, look, I'm gonna allocate this virtual machine, uh, 40 gig of space, a four gig of memory, RAM, uh, and two CPU cores. So obviously compare this to what your specs of your Mac are. Obviously allocate enough space for your VMs to be built. Um, you are gonna be building VMs. That's really the whole point of having an ESXi instance built. So if you're gonna build say two or three VMs and you wanna allocate X amount of RAM, X amount of CPU, X amount of hard drive space, then obviously allocate your ESXi host to have enough uh, resources that you can then go and allocate that internally to each VM that you are building within the ESXi server. But either way, you can go and change this uh, later on. Select finish. Now it's gonna ask me where I want to save this. Um, I'm gonna save it into the same folder, which is inside my virtual machines folder. Uh, you can save this image anywhere. Essentially, essentially, it's just gonna be a file that is sitting on your computer. 
And within that file is the image of your ESXi. So put that in a location where it's safe, uh, in a location that is not gonna be accidentally deleted either, because if you accidentally delete that file, then your virtual machine is gone. So we're gonna say save right here. And from here, you'll see that it's now essentially booting into my uh, ESXi installer, all right? Uh, ESXi is, uh, well, VMware ESXi is running a Unix uh, backend. Uh, so it is, it is uh, that's, the, that's the language essentially that is being used. And it's gonna essentially just preload a whole bunch of software and some settings to be able to go and install uh, VMware ESXi. This is the, the loading screen, essentially. So you'll see that it is installing 6.7. It shows you here the actual build ID, the build number. Uh, it's telling you that it's it's detected itself. So this is now the operating system boot start. And it's telling me that there is the two cores that has been detected uh, and four gig of memory. And you'll see that right here, my Mac is showing up with a uh, thing asking me for my password that I can just put in to ensure that it has uh, the relevant uh, rights to be able to go and do what it needs to do. So once that preloader has finished, you're gonna be presented with the installation screen. Uh, you can just click on enter on your keyboard and F11 on your Mac. Now you will notice that if you try to move your mouse around, uh, it does, you can't get out of this screen. Uh, to easily re you know, release that, you can press the control and command buttons on your keyboard and then your mouse comes back and then to go back into that screen and just click back inside and now your mouse and your, your, your system is now in there. So here is the hard drive that has been detected. So you see at the very start, we did see that it was gonna be allocating 40 gig of hard drive space. So if you do need to allocate more, allocate more. Something that you need to consider is how many VMs you're going to be building as part of uh, this, this environment. Um, if you're gonna build say a 2016 or a 2019 uh, Windows Server, uh, image or virtual machine, uh, then you need to allocate space for that. So if your ESXi, your hypervisor has only got 40 gig, as you see right here, that may not be enough. You can expand this in future if you want to. Uh, but what I'd recommend is even connecting an external device. Uh, you've got like a NAS or a USB hard drive that you can get working within VMware to allow you to have additional capacity so that you can build uh, a number of more VMs if you so need to. But either way, it's gonna ask me now, where do you want to install this? Uh, you'll see that it's already allocated that 40 gig, so I can just click on enter. It's gonna ask me my language, which I'll leave as the default. And now it's gonna ask me for my root password and then to confirm it. So this is the, essentially this is the root password for ESXi, essentially the, the, the highest administrator password for the ESXi installer. So put something that is fairly complex uh, but something that you won't forget, because if you forget this, then you're gonna get, it's gonna be very hard for you to get into your ESXi and change any settings. And then we can click on enter. It's gonna do some further checks, and now it's just confirming before we kick off that it's gonna be installing ESXi 6.7 onto that particular hard drive space, uh, and that that 40 gig disk, uh, which currently doesn't have anything on it, it's just going to be partitioned, uh, and then you'll install ESXi. So we can now click on F11 on your Mac there, and the ESXi installation will commence. Uh, this shouldn't take too long, so we'll just check back once this is finished. So now it says to remove the installation media before rebooting, reboot the server to start using ESXi. Now all this is saying is if you have a bootable ISO that is mounted onto the computer, just unmount it as a precaution, otherwise it could essentially boot into that ISO again and boot back into the installation. So you can click on Control Command just to ensure. Click on this little um, thing up the top here, and select disconnect CD DVD. Select enter to reboot. So the server will shut down and reboot. Uh, it will not take very long. Essentially, it's just gonna close a whole bunch of the processes, restart, and then we're gonna be presented with the ESXi login screen. So once that has rebooted, you'll see you're now presented with the primary, essentially the login screen for VMware ESXi 6.7. Uh, you'll see it has some information there around the CPU and the RAM that we allocated earlier, as well as an IP address there on how to access the ESXi uh, console um, or the operating system itself from a web browser to be able to then you go in and configure your VMs and do whatever you need to do. Um, you'll see that the IP address there is static. That's because I set it to be static. Uh, if we click on uh, F2 on your computer, so there on the bottom left it says F2. So 
Um, in here, it's gonna ask me for my password that I set earlier. We're not gonna go into detail with every single section in here. There is a few things that you can do, but in short, you can configure your password. And under Configure Manage Network, uh, under IPv4, yours is likely set to use dynamic address by default. So it's essentially gonna look for what's called the DHCP uh, service uh, that is allocating IP addresses out to a network. Uh, we are going to go in and set it as a static IP, something that you know uh, will never change because a dynamic IP address will change. And then the last thing you wanna do is try to find what your IP is and it's hard to find that. So go into here, set your static IP, all right, literally you can just start typing right into here, IP version four, uh, change your default gateway if you need to, but then that way you know that the IP address of your ESXi environment will never ever change. All right, so I can just get out of that. It may ask you to restart or to refresh your network settings once you've changed that, so go ahead and do that. Uh, you can do other things like setting up your VLANs, changing DNS settings, uh, as well, um, which we won't cover right here. But once that is now done, uh, we now know that we can access a web browser and access 192.168.2.129. So click on Control Command to get your mouse out and open up your Safari browser or whatever browser, Google Chrome. And if everything has worked correctly, uh, it'll look like this. Uh, this is a VM or ESXi and you're prompted with a username and password. Now, if this hasn't shown up, uh, something's gone wrong. Uh, it could be that you're missing some particular software, uh, Flash. Um, it could be that the IP address is incorrect or that your Mac cannot see this IP address. So there could be a network issue. Uh, we're not gonna go through the troubleshooting on how to get that up and running. So we're just assuming that you've now been presented with this screen and that now you can log in with those same root credentials. So here we are, we are in. Uh, you'll see that you're presented here with really your um, main interface that shows you everything that you need to see. Uh, a lot more information around your VMware uh, installation, your CPU usage, your memory usage, how much storage you've got. Uh, it's gonna configure the basic uh, defaults. You'll see that also your ESXi is in evaluation mode, so you can go and get yourself a free license key from VMware once you've registered. Um, but there's a whole bunch of information on here. Uh, under virtual machines, it still says zero because we haven't built any. So literally your next step would be to go and create a VM you can then go and you know get your ISO for Windows Server, Windows 10, whatever it may be. Install that Windows ISO, configure it, and then you'll have a VM running uh, within this ESXi. But that is it for now. We're not gonna go into detail around this. Uh, there's VMware is a huge, huge product, and there's a lot of functionality within ESXi and vCenter. Uh, so we're not gonna go into, into detail there, but there's a lot more that we can talk about, but that's really the basic steps on how to install ESXi 6.7 uh, on your Mac, uh, we are running VMware Fusion. Thanks for watching. Uh, like this video, subscribe, and also click on my bell notification button there to be uh, notified of when new things are getting released. Thanks for watching again. We'll see you next time.